Hi. Uh, let's see. Today's Wednesday. It's group therapy night. Um, um, RAR. Very important RAR. Um, I have I have a Lunchable. This is my dinner because I didn't feel like eating a full meal tonight for some reason. I don't know. And I also have a Frappuccino because... Who oh boy. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, kids, I'm gonna children charcuterie and also caffeine and chocolate and all that. Uh, Viva, I would love to share, but I'm afraid that by the time it got there, it might be fully melted and would not be as delish. Um, yeah, t today is an extra caffeine day. I like, it around like 4 p.m., I just started, I don't know. Um, so, it's fine fine we'll be fine uh let's see what else is going on um oh oh fun stuff um hey elena huh so how's it going first of all how you doing uh i'm a person and i'm alive there that's those are those are two very very good things to be <laughs> if you can't be a bear or a cat being a person is good so i guess if you're gonna person today instead of cat that's fair um, second, what's some of your favorite parts of this channel? Um, just, just thinking off the top of my head. Uh, what do you like about the channel? Like, you know, I mean, aside from like the, the, the basic concept of us, you know, playing games and stuff together. What's... I've answered too many questions today. Answering questions is difficult. That's fine. Sound alerts. You do, you do like that. You do like that. <laughs> Um, well, how about I answer it for you? Okay, good, because I don't remember. I, uh, Captain... Emojis! We have a two-part Captain Hopper's emote in the chat now, so you can do the sword and you can do the head. Uh, I did that. I put that in last night and it got approved earlier today. So uh, that is a tier one sub. Or those are both tier one sub emotes. Um, so very very pleased there's there's captain hoppers that we can we can now spread captain hoppers everywhere just um, the head well i mean whichever <laughs> that's the, gonna be my approach viv's wearing his shirt right now um he told me this morning he's wearing it and he says it's he's he said it's both incredibly comfortable and makes him feel a little closer to me which you know warmed warmed my, my big fuzzy bear heart <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. I don't think there's a whole lot else. Um, I don't. Okay, so I'm going on vacation next week. I don't know whether we'll do Wednesday night or not. I'm leaning towards yes, but I don't know just based on everything. That we, I've got to get ready on Wednesday and be ready to leave because I'm going to be gone for over a week. Um, so we'll kind of. We'll play it by ear and see how it goes. But we're definitely doing Friday, Sunday, and Monday of this week. Um, and we may do Wednesday, don't know yet, um, of next week. So, again, playing it by ear. But I just want to let everybody know so that if, in case, you know, you don't see me around for a few days, you don't think that something's wrong. Nothing's wrong. I'm just getting the fuck America's out of this house. Hibernation. Something like that, yes. I'm doing a digital hibernation by going the fuck out of this house because I'll be basically fully vaccinated at that point. Um, so, yes. Fine. Um, I did have... I do have a topic that I want to talk about at some point. I wasn't ready to, to, to do it tonight just yet, and it won't be next week, so if we do it, let me see the calendar. Um, so next week is the 5th. We won't have a group therapy night on the 12th, so maybe the 19th. Maybe May 19th is when we'll do that show. Um, I gotta see how I'm feeling for that one, though. That's a very, that's a very specific topic that I want to address at some point. Um, and I also want to get with Andrea, hip to be hippie, to make sure that she's here too because she has a lot of, um, she's got a lot of knowledge and 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 stuff on the subject. So. Um, that's, that's basically all I have. Um, do y'all have anything else before we kind of go into the, the, the normal stuff? 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash oh that God. notification bell. He's doing that again. You married him. I just want to remind you of that. And just... He's cute. You know that. I. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're you're very not wrong. Ah, oh, let's see. There's Andrea. There she is. Ah. Oh. Okay, so, so Andrea, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll probably the, the thing that I talk to you about will probably do on the nineteenth because uh, next week I won't be doing it, and then the or I, I won't be up to it up for it next Wednesday, and the following week I'll be off. So, um, if the nineteenth, if that works for you, then I would love to do that topic that night. Um, but anyway. Oh, let's see. Can I come up with a topic off the top of my head? Um, probably, but also... You know, no, I don't know. Oh, damn, she's been here. Okay, all right. Hey, listen, I love you. You know you know, I love when you're here. You know I love when you can make it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, let's see. Monday, I got my second poke in my arm. So, that's good. Very, very, very happy about that. Uh, looking forward to being able to leave the house and do stuff. Um, you know. Even if it's in some limited capacity and I will wear a mask, I, I don't give a shit. I just want to leave the goddamn house and do something. Mind and body connections. Okay, okay. Um... Well, let's see. The mind and body connections that I have made so far this week is I have a lot of shit going on. I'm stressed the fuck out and it is wearing me down. So my mental health is directly. Yeah. Well, keep it. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. I'm not good at taking care of the physical shit. I'm not great at it. Like most of mine is. Well, snacks. That reminds me, I gotta make another little sandwich. I don't know. Let's let's start with how everybody's week is going, though. Hi there, Flaming Delta. How's it going? Welcome in. Um. So, Lollipop went and his uh. Well, he had somebody wrist deep in his mouth today. So, you know, that's fun. Last week's topic was treat yourself. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm going to eat my little sandwich. Don't mind me. So, Lollipop, how are you feeling, bud? My face hurts. I have work that needs done on my face. More work that needs done on my face. So, preparing for that. You know, like you do. Like you do. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this can of worms. Elena, how you doing, friendo? Mm -hmm. I, I, I exist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am a person who exists. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it a person, that, or is it a living sentient ball of anxiety? I mean, also, yes. <laughs> I am in this photo, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I already attacked Zach today. You don't get to attack me. <laughs> Where in the rule book is that? And that's a good point. I just made it up. Oof. I don't make the rules. Mm, rules. <laughs> you, no, sorry. You sorry, Viv. I have claims on that for like the next three days, and then you can have it back. In 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 fairness to Elena, she has been she has had a lot going on in the last couple of weeks, so yeah. But good things, good things, yes. I mean, maybe. We'll find out early next week, hopefully, maybe. Well, what did you say to me earlier today about it? I mean, at least I made the top four, and at least I've made connections. So yes, it's good, but nah, I want the job. Yeah, yeah. I just want to play video games. I mean, same, honestly. Like, uh, yeah. 
Well, I don't sometimes. Even do that. Um, I just want to make it to this weekend and play Pokemon Snap and and I don't know eat cake for my birthday. Yeah. So you want to make it to this weekend and then you just want to play video games. Yeah. So Flaming Delta, just just to be clear, uh, no age talk in the chat, please. Okay. Um. But. Yeah. That is um. That's that's a that is a tough position to be in. Um, I'm I've I've been there. But also yeah. gib job. Gib job, please. Yep. Like. Yep. I think it went all right. I just the waiting, and I don't know. Nerves. Yep. Dear work. Give a job. Yep. And Viv's Viv Viv is right. There's you know you've you've everybody. So to kind of give you an idea, like there are things about myself that I I knew. I guess. Uh, I suspected like I could I could kind of feel it but I didn't really know and I have for years but like I didn't really come to some of those realizations until like the last you know year or two and I mean I'm you know everyone please control oh my yourself. god this is a mature party and oh no! my god oh my god that's that is oh my god that is several people that is several mo uh, let's see. Let's see if the new bot works. <gasps> oh my god. Did it work? Is that the that's the new bot? The new bot works. Um so hi Mo. Hi. Hello everybody coming over from the lovely MoCraft. Um yes, Vifa, I yeah, Firebot's running. The only thing that's not in there right now are the quotes, and I'll I'll migrate migrate those at some point. Um Migrote. Migrote, yep. Yep, I I don't know how to fucking talk. Um, hello everyone hey. coming from Mo's stream. Um, I'm Zunderscore. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a part timer here. I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday nights, um, seven thirty to ten or eleven Eastern, depending on whether or not it's Friday. Uh, let's see. I do a variety. Like tonight is group therapy night, so welcome in. If there's anything that you have on your mind, toss it in chat. We can talk about it. Um, other than that, right now we're just kind of talking about how everybody's week has been going um, and just some general stuff. So, hi. Welcome on in. Um, and also, we love best friend Mo. She's she's amazing and wonderful, and I love her so much. Um, let's see. So, yeah. Let's see. What else have we got going on? Um... That's mostly it. Just yeah, it's group therapy night. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Mo. Yeah, I was about to say it's a little, it's, it's very very early for you. I'm sorry you had the technical difficulties. That's the poops. Um, but I'm glad you're here, and I love your face. How's your face feel, Mo? Oh. Did you try turning your technical difficulties off and then back on again? Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's yeah. She has also had someone rooting around in her mouth. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Oh. So. Yeah, but she Sweet. had to have the antibiotics and everything for it because it was doing the swell. Yeah. And not in a swell way. Well, we're glad that your face is still in existence because we love you. Hey, these Are these really Oreos or are they, are they knockoffs? No, they're Lunchable Oreos. Oh, they're okay. Lunchable cookie. They're chocolate cream, cream sandwich cookies. Uh-huh. Yeah, but the ham is actually Oscar Mayer ham, and the cheese is actually the good old-fashioned craft American processed cheese food. Are you an Oscar Mayer wiener? Uh, you're goddamn right I am. We actually had a conversation earlier today, or n like, not terribly long ago on Twitter, me and Sydney, um, because she found out that you can uh, request the wiener mobile to come to your event. You can just fill out a form to request it to show up, and wait. So wait, Nomster wait. Jam. Wait, what the? What? How the hell did you do that? I want to know how Viv what? did that. Viv, look, Captain Hopper's. Oh. Is, he's pointing the other direction. 
Oh my god. Today I learned. Wait, you can actually just do that at the end of it and it'll it'll flip it? Oh my god. Hello, Fritzes. Both of you. I love you. Thank you for being here. Don't worry, I'm just, you know, doing my my thing. Oh, that's oh that's what that's for. Oh. oh, that's what the modify does. Today I learned. I didn't know what modify were, anymore meant. You were today years old when you learned. Gotta save my points. Can't can't be uh, <laughs> wasting my points on that. What you saving your points for, Alina? I don't know. But yeah. You so know damn well what you're using the, the next Nomster Jam? Mmm, Nomster Jam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, how, how much I wonder if this more works. accurate can you get if you get a wienermobile showing up to your meat party? Nomster jam. Oh, my God. It works. Oh, uh, well, good luck, Mo. I hope you figure it out and see what's going on. Pet, everybody's been having internet issues lately. Twist those knobs. Pull some levers. Chase that squirrel? No, that's Dr. Pug. Um, yeah, I would I would love to I would love to have the Wiener Mobile show up um, for Nomster Jam. That would be just just tops. Um, just Bueno. Just Bueno. Just yes. The Bueno. Um, let's see, what else is, what else, what else, what else? I think that's about it. Yeah, this week I've just, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little run down again from my second arm poke. Um, uh, not as much as the first one, which is good. It, listen, if I got the Wienermobile to show up to Nomster Jam, I would have all, all, all of it would be Oscar Mayer. Like if I if I was able to score the Wiener Mobile for my event, you better believe I would have it there, because that would be awkward. But it would be fun to just have the Wiener Mobile roll up on our street and park in the street, and they couldn't say anything because it's a city street, and you're allowed to park in the street in the city. <laughs> Suck it, HOA. I used to be on the board of our HOA. I did it twice. Never again. It was just, bleh, bleh. um, so um, yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm doing all right. I've got a lot of stuff coming up. I've got the vacation coming up. Like I said, I'm leaving next Thursday, early, early Thursday morning. Uh, what else? Um, uh, I'll be gone, and I won't get back until the following Wednesday night, so I won't be able to stream that night, which is, what, the 12th? Yeah, I think that's the 12th. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's about all I've got right now. <sighs> I'm just trying to... I'm trying to manage my stress as best as I can because the vacation, just all the stuff surrounding the vacation is has got me like stressed and worked up and concerned. Um, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like I'll be fully vaccinated. I'll be I'll be ready to go. That full vaccination is a relief. Boy, howdy, yeah. isn't it? Isn't it, though? Like, and I'm... It's not like I'm planning to go do anything, just go nuts and just start doing everything in the world, because, you know, and we, we've talked about this. Um, it's going to be a lot of just trying to get back out there and figure out what it's like to be, you know, to, to human out in the world again, but... I'm just really, I'm looking forward to actually being able to do it. Oh, oh, I've never thought of it that way before. 
That's a good point. Wow. Group therapy night is kind of, we get to Zunder's core. That's, mm -hmm. holy shit. You, you blew my mind just now. I'm, my head, my head explode. Wow. Back wow. off, baby. Oh. <laughs> Anytime we can make a Homestar Runner reference, we know those are the, the good times. Oh, shit, snacks. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Oh, I gotta have a sip. God, I love this stuff. It's so good. It's ridiculously expensive, but I love it. Oh, yeah. You know, I'd say I think it's been over a year since I've actually had Starbucks because I never went anywhere, but I'm pretty sure I had enough Starbucks on our trip to grab Elliot Aww, for Elliot. an entire year. He's a very good boy. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. My work-life balance is actually really good right now. Um, so... I'm in a very good position at work where, um, well, Lollipop knows this because, you know, we we kind of tag team it and and set each other for up for success in this way. But we sometimes tend to slack off at work only because we're really efficient at what we do, so it works out really well. So mm -hmm. we we you know. Like there's there are days when we have to you know throw in some extra effort here and there, but for the most part, like we get our shit done and then we're done and then we can just kind of screw off. And being able to work at home allows us to do that. Um, I know lollipop, Maximum you were effort. Uh, huh? <laughs> Maximum effort. Maximum effort. Um, well, was, like you were you were saying to me the other day about how you know the the kind of arrangement that we have with our job and and being able to just get stuff done and you know move on it's been really good for you to be able to to get stuff around done around the house you know mm -hmm. so I, I say as i have a counter full of stuff that i have neglected all day today listen i've i yeah we you got mouth poked it's fine you got your mouth poked and I mean, the like shanked, our, well, <laughs> shivved, <laughs> just, just, just right up in there. Um, my work life balance is kind of improving, but that's mostly my own fault. So, you know, it's your own <laughs> fault or your own doing that it's improving. Uh, it's my own fault that it's where it's at. I see. It's improving because now everyone's working from home. So there's literally just less to do. Sure. Sure. Are you. Are you um, are you starting to, to realize that giving more of your time outside of work, especially for a job where you're paid hourly and you're not getting those hours back, are you starting no. to realize that that's that's no. probably not a great thing? No, that's why I'm just trying to get become salary. That's oh. been my goal for like seven years now. So you can justify it to yourself. Uh huh. That's all right. You know. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, whatever you gotta do. What was it we we were talking about just before we went live tonight, Elena? When I'm stressed, I I I do more shit. Uh huh. Yep. When I'm stressed, I take on more. That's yeah. my stress response. Yeah. And wow. your stress response. I'm in this. I'm in this blog post, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so that's that's that is something that I have a tendency to do is when I get stressed out is I will try to find other things to do to you know offset the stress distract you. to distract me. That you're stressed. Yes. And then those things like streaming. Like She said streaming. I definitely heard screaming. Also it, that, but sure. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, no, Andrea, they get 
they get significantly more than that on my office week, and they get a little bit more than the 37 and a half baseline on my home week. Yeah, you gotta you gotta not do that because that's not good for you. I didn't do that much last week, other than my like evening log on and do the reports and checking uh, my email a lot because I really wanted to see if I made the short list. Well, and you did, and you did. I did. Remember that time you made and the, the short, short list? list has shrunk a little bit, so yeah. Remember when you made the short list, and then when it got shorter, you were still on the short list. Yeah. So you were on the short list and the shorter list. Yes. Those were good times. <laughs> now I want to be on the list of one. You want to be on the single list. <laughs> yes, the single person list. Yes. But not single, single, just the sole person list. There we go. That's the word. There you go. Okay, that's that's better. That's better. Oh, software dev like us. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so... You know this, because I know this, and Lollipop knows this. Computers were a fucking mistake. Look, it's not our it's not my fault you guys tricked rocks into thinking. We didn't trick the rocks into doing we didn't trick the rocks into doing it. Engine the hardware engineers tricked the rocks into doing math. You told them how to do it. No, we just tell them what to do with the math afterwards. All, Which is mostly this, not math related. All of this is being said from someone who is currently streaming on his extremely expensive computer after working his nice cozy job with computers after playing a whole bunch of video games on a console that's basically a little computer after he tweeted a whole bunch on his portable computer. <laughs> He is in this comment and does not like it. Hold on, hold on. I'm searching how to ban your own moderators <laughs> from Twitch. <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> how to delete someone from the internet? <laughs> I'm, how do I'm, I delete someone else's comment? <laughs> I am. We are not first layer. We are not to blame. We are not the physical layer. Listen, I guess. listen. Okay, like. It's true, though. Like, they're a mistake, but hey, if as long as they're here, eh, you know. Uh. <laughs> You're just going to perpetuate the mistake with further layers. Listen, we, listen, uh, like, w me and Lollipop and Vifo, we operate at, like, levels, like, six and seven of the stack, okay? Like, sometimes five, depending on how hairy things get. That's it. <laughs> We're we're not at layer one, okay? We're not at layer one. No, no, no. Lollipop is definitely not at layer one. Lollipop's friendship with Ram is over. Oh, buddy. Yeah, you've had some you've had some issues with Ram in the past, haven't you? It's okay. I'm not even at layer five or six. I'm at layer whatever the fuck clumsy user is. Yeah. Sometimes we call that layer eight. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not all that inaccurate, Viv, because when you get into resolving instant casts and activations within the the combat set system, it's it's actually a pretty close metaphor. So yeah, we're both lost and afraid because getting lost in the magic stack is just as bad. Uh, also, Viv, um, I I'm I I do computers for a living at well, as you can see, all hours. So I am also lost and afraid at all times. I don't. What format of magic, Viv? Oh, he plays magic. I, he plays. He plays Magic the Gathering, like I, I, like old school I cards. I understand. I understand. I have decks. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. I, I know you know what you're talking format. about. <laughs> because there's commander. There's like tournament legal. There's old school crap that I can't remember the name of. Your face is tournament legal. And by crap I can't remember the name of. The the system is not crap. I just can't remember the name of it. I'm not smart enough to play magic. I'm not smart yes, enough to play magic. No. No, I am not. Hush your face. Nope. Yes, you are. It's way too you, goddamn you, you complicated. May not, you may not want to, but you are definitely smart enough to. Nope. Nope. Not smart enough. Nope. 
Too complicated. I mean, no one can Can't afford process. Legacy unless you were in it at that point. Nope. I'm just gonna sit in the corner and hug my pot of greed and Ooh. call it good. Ooh, I got an email from Outback. Okay, so I get... You've heard of sexts, but have you heard stexts? I get steak texts. Um, and I, I also get steak emails. And I get emails from Outback like, you'll want to order everything in this email. And they're almost always right. Yep, they're always right. Stexts. Steak texts. I get texts from Outback Steakhouse. It's fine. Um, I so I'm I'm a I'm a I'm like an actual software engineer. Um, I write stuff for a credit union, um, mostly internal use tools. Um, so stuff that interfaces with our core banking system. Basically, we we our team uh, Lollipop and I are on the same team at work, um, and basically we put a beautiful interface, and I say beautiful loosely because we inherited some of it, but it's. It's a lot better than the one provided by the core banking system. Anyway, we put a pretty interface on top of our core banking system so that our um, our tellers and our call center folks can um, service our the members of the credit union. Um, we're doing, we're basically full stack. So we're doing C sharp on the back end. We're doing um, on the front end. We're we're every it's all web based. So we're doing all HTML, JavaScript. We're doing Angular. Um, we've got a bunch of our legacy stuff is in Knockout, um, but you know it's all JavaScript at the end of the day. Um, and Vifa, Vifa, like she and I talk about this shit all day long, so we talk shop because she she loves her front end dev. So, but yeah, we're we're full stack. We're we're doing we're doing it all. Like I could be like today, for instance. Um, we do. Uh, what did I do today? I had to Stuff. do some. I had to do some UI logic, literally just adding a checkbox and preventing the user from continuing unless the checkbox was checked. Um, and I did that in Angular. Um, and then tomorrow I could be deploying microservices in Azure Service Fabric. I mean, Andrea, if you want to ask me JavaScript questions, you can. JavaScript's not my first language, but I can try to help. Um, I enjoy the C sharp stuff way more, just because C sharp makes sense and it's structured and it, and it's not fucking chaos like JavaScript. JavaScript is fucking chaos, and don't let anybody tell you differently. See, see, see this is what I mean, Lollipop. This is why I tell you that Vifa, she's she's like she's right here, right here, right here. It was so funny. A couple of weeks ago, we were having the discussion like on the side somewhere. We were in voice one night. Um, uh, and like we, we were talking about the differences between Minecraft Java, OG Minecraft and Minecraft Bedrock. And so Vifa jumps in. She's like, well, she's like, oh, you know, Java is written in Java. She's like, Bedrock was written from the ground up in C. And I just, I'm like looking around. I'm like, this is my people. This is my people, and that's when I knew. Um, so, uh, I've been a dev. Uh, that's a that's kind of a loaded question. Professionally, I've been a dev for <sighs> what year is this? Twenty one. Okay, so professionally, I've been a dev for uh, like eight years. Nine years, uh, as a that, yeah, that is that is exactly the year. Um, so yeah, eight or nine years. Um, bef but I've been doing it as a hobby for like ever, I guess. Um, before I did a dev professionally, I was an IT guy by trade, so um, help desk, sysadmin, network admin, shit like that, and I did that for basically off and on for almost 12 years before I swapped over and started doing dev. Um, so I've been doing tech as a career for, I mean, 
shit like one million years fucking almost 20 years now because my first my first it job i worked as an intern in my high school's it department and i started the day of my 16th birthday so i've yeah, i've been doing this shit i've been doing this shit for yeah almost 20 years now but you know i'm not going to retire because i'm a millennial and that's that's how it works um but yeah, Bedrock is Bedrock's not Java based. Bedrock is C based, which is why Bedrock is able to run everywhere. Um, because Java can't run almost anywhere, like consoles and whatnot. It has to be base, It has to be built in something that the consoles can run, and C will compile down to basically any processor native code. But. Over three billion devices have Java. I will. I know where you live, and I will come over there, and I will throw a fish at your face or something. I don't know, but I will do something very offensive at your face. Is this is this the hashtag fish hashtag content? That's the fish content of the night, folks. Hashtag fish hashtag content is me throwing fish at Lollipop's face for bringing up java and how it runs on 3 billion devices or whatever. I don't I don't I don't remember even the number. That's hot. Oh, yeah. Um uh, yeah, so but yeah, I've been I've been I've been doing the tech stuff for a very long time and I'm I'm very I'm very worn out from it. And I would like to retire now and go live the rest of my days in 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 a cave somewhere. A nice in a cool, van down by a river. In a van down by the river. Actually, that's not the worst idea either. I mean, you know, with a big enough van. No, I need a big kitchen. I need somewhere where I can cook a shit ton of food for people. So a bus. I mean, yeah. I don't think I haven't thought about it. I actually, I do, do want to get a bus just for, so I've been joking for years that I should get a bus and get my commercial driver's license so that I can drive folks around in the bus. Um, Cause I'm always like in the before times, I was always the designated driver cause I've almost never um, drink. So, you know, I, I'm more than willing to drive and, and drive people home. Um, cause you know, it's, I don't want people to. I don't want people to to, to, to be unsafe. Um, and plus, it's kind of funny to watch your friends get drunk and do dumb things. It's so funny to watch that. Isn't it great? Like, I love that. So, um, I've always joked that I should get a bus and I'll just, I'll, I will be the actual party bus. So, I'll drive people around, drop them off wherever, and I will pick them up and take them home. Like a school bus, but actually, you know. Like it's the, the party bus, but it's a school bus. The Zunder bus. The Zunder bus. Don't uh. forget to thank the bus driver. Oh my god. Meh, meh. <laughs> viv, 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 do it, do it. Meh, meh. <laughs> I mean, it would be a fun bus to ride. I would listen. I. It would be a great time. Um, we're not doing any old web form stuff now. Um, all of our stuff is MVC or newer. Um, so. All of our C-sharp stuff that we're doing is either um, front-end MVC stuff. We do have some WCF stuff. Um, oh, God, it did the new italics thing. Oh. oh. No, I couldn't have taken Wayne. I couldn't have done that. That No, I couldn't do that. Wayne was Andrea's old bus. Um... But yeah, that would have. I I still think the bus thing would be fun. Now, what's funny is there's a place near Sabrina's mom's house that sells old buses, so they'll buy them. Um, they'll make sure you know go through them, make sure everything's in working order, fix what they need to, and they'll resell them. And they're honestly not terribly expensive. Like I went by last weekend, and they had a couple up there for like six grand. Like I could spend six grand on a on a used bus. And I mean, like, like, goddamn, I would fucking, I would fucking do that. I'd get a bus, but I gotta get my, I gotta get, 
you know, a passenger CDL first so that I can actually drive people around in it. Because, you know, I can't drive the thing off the lot if I don't have the license to drive it. That's, you know, if I'm going to be carting people around. That would be fun, though. I do miss doing things with, with groups of people. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. Because, you know, everybody comes and hangs out, and I think we have a good time. I have a good time. Lollipop usually has a good time. Yeah, El man. Elena has a good time giving us shit the whole time. Do I give you shit ever? Or do, do I get attacked? Um. Why can't it be both? Couldn't it be both? Ah. Uh... I'm pretty focused on that attacked part. Okay. 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 It's fine. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I'm just saying, if I'm getting attacked, who's the real victim here? If you're attacking in return, or you're attacking anyway, yeah. Am I really attacking, or am I just sh sh throwing soft things at a fluffy teddy bear? Soft things? <laughs> Sometimes they're not... Metaphorically speaking. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. If by soft things you mean you're lobbing softballs at me, fine, sure. <laughs> God. Throws dagger. Soft things. It's a stuffed plushy dagger. Oh, oh, is that what it is? Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. No, no. Don't worry about it. We're good. I'm not sure what I did, Viv, but probably. I I think I think you two would get along really well. But I love Viv, so my Well, you have good taste in friends, so I have good taste From in Vivs also. I have good taste what, in Vivs. Do you want them the same? I have do good... you have multiple Vivs? Well, no. That's, I mean, I'm just checking because you have why, good taste in them. It seems like you've acquired more than one. No, no, I, I have, I have specifically handpicked, handpicked, hand selected the single best Viv. Well, you have multiple what Sydneys, I think. So. Well, there's only two Sydney. Yeah, only the two though. Well, there's multiple Sydneys, so I, you know, I never know. There could be. Well, there could be multiple Vivs, or apparently Viv will just be multiple Vivs in one Viv. Well, in my defense. In, def in my defense, Sydney came as a package deal with other Sydney. So when you, it was like a BOGO deal. You buy one Sydney, you get the other Sydney for free. So I, I just ended up being, I, you know, I ended up acquiring them as a package deal. Like I couldn't get other Sydney without Sydney, but I didn't want to get, like I wanted to get Sydney to begin with because she's, she and I are a lot alike. It's kind of frightening, honestly. Like it's. It's it's a it's a little scary sometimes how how alike we are. But we're both southern girls who enjoy a good plate of food, so you know, what can you say? You know. Yeah, it's fine. Um No, Viv, I want you to be exactly the way you are. It's beautiful and I love you. Uh Yeah, I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to manage my stress a little better, but Next, once I get through, like, the vacation and I get home, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to be, uh, I, I think I'll be a little bit better. I just got to get through that. I need to do vacation, but I'm kind of trying to wait to see on this position because I don't want to schedule. I have something scheduled at the end of June, I think, but I don't want to schedule something if it's. If I'm just going to switch departments. That makes sense. That might refresh me too. Just having all new stuff to learn and not everything's going to be on my plate because I'm obviously not going to know as much as they do. Yeah. And, and Troll, that's, I mean, yeah, I, I started seeing a therapist. The problem that I found was like, she was good and I, I enjoy talking with her, but um, my appointments were like a month or more between sessions. And I need something a little more, like maybe every two to three weeks. Um, and that's why I haven't done a therapy review stream in a while, because I haven't had a session with her in a month now, I think. Um, 
And so, yeah. Viv's getting all Viv's getting all mushy. He's getting all mushy in the chat. That's what we call it here at home. It's getting mushy. We get mushy. Mu Viv. We get mushy sometimes. Me and Sabrina, we get mushy and then we vomit and then we're fine. Uh, actually, at one point, I think I think it was Tom that started calling us the barfs a while back. So, because we get a little barfy sometimes. Oh, you have a lap dog. I do. Do you have a Bowser? I have a Bowser on my lap. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Give him the belly rubs. Give him the belly rubs and the belly scritches. He deserves it. Mm. He's currently laying on his belly. Next time he gets down. The, the problem, Andrea, is that I have to book... So I went through MD Live to book my therapist... And that's the only way that she can book. Um, that's that's how all of her stuff is right now. So I have to go through MD Live system to do it, and I'm basically at the mercy of the scheduling system. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to start looking for someone local. Um, now that I've got my my second vaccine shot, um, I, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable about going into someone's office. Um, and I, I still would, would do remote sessions. That's it's not a, a remote session thing. Like that's not a problem for me at all. Um, but I would like to. It, it probably would do me better to be in person with someone too, um, because as much as like I'm very digitally, what's the word? Come on, Elena, you're good with words. Native? Digitally native? Yes, thank you. I'm the, as, as much as I'm digitally native, um, I still need, like, a physical human presence. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, I just need that human interaction. That's, I mean, that's part of the reason why, you know, this has been so, so tough on me the last year plus now. Um, same reason. Like, I, I need human interaction. Um, I, I need to be around people. I need that like physical, just like that physical energy kind of hitting me. And, um, yeah, you know, um, I, and that's, that's, that's something I may start doing too, is start working from other locations. Um, just like, just to, to get you know, some more of that external human interaction. And like, even tonight I was talking to Sabrina and like, I, I, having her here has, has saved me from going just like, just, just bad shit. Cause I don't do well on my own. Um, so having her here has just been, you know, just, it's been life saving, honestly. Um, but you know, I, 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 I'm because I'm so extroverted. I I absorb all of my energy from people around me. So I need to have that physical interaction. I need to have that physical presence, and just not having it has been so tough. And that's why I'm so happy now that you know, you know, lollipop. You, you talked about having the the relief of of knowing that you have that vaccination now. Like you're you're done with that. So it's a lot safer for you to go out in the world. Um. And I'm I'm starting to feel like a little bit of that, um, and and I think once I'm actually able to be out and start doing that more and more, um, like I want to come visit y'all. I want I want to just come over and and, and see y'all, but you know and see Elliot. And, well, yeah. You want to see the very good boy and give him cheese. Well, I mean that too. Can you blame me? He's a very good boy. I'm just saying, boy. let's get your priorities in order here. Listen, you know I love him. I love him. He's such a good kitty. He's a very, very good boy. And if you want to see He's a very whiny boy, apparently. He got himself locked in a closet again today because anytime I'm not home, he's apparently a pain in the butt. And I don't, I don't understand because he's a very good boy when I'm home. He is a very good boy. 
Um, he should... Yeah, why is my... That's weird. Okay. Um, he should... Yeah, you should, you should, you should, you should give him all the cheese tonight and tell him I love him. I, I'm with Andrea. I'm an introvert and like, I don't want everything to go back to normal, but I would like to be able to have like my best friend come down and visit and stuff. Well, even being introverted, like Sabrina's introverted, but you know, her recharge time is part of it's being alone and having her alone time, but part of it is spending time with me and, um, like I just I you know that I I get that like you I need people in large doses introverts need people still but in very small doses I'm getting most of my doses from work but I a I need the stress to lay off and b if we can all go out more maybe I can have the house to myself once in a while cuz we went from me having the house to myself like twice a week to I don't think I've had the house to myself for longer than a half hour in the past year and I think that's like once or twice total yeah and I just like we have the dining room but it's it's just not really the same as me having true space because it almost feels like I'm intruding on everyone else getting my own space and it's a pain yeah yeah uh, Viva I will I will you're I will absolutely get on a fucking plane I will get on a plane and I will fucking come over there I absolutely You're leaving will. on a jet plane? Yes. But I can't go there first. If I'm going to travel anywhere by plane first, Andrea knows where I'm going. I'm going to go visit her in Seattle. Uh, Viv, I have a big enough lap for you to sit in. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I have to go. I have to go to Seattle first. Um, usually I go... God, and I had that reminder this week too. Um... So I usually go to Seattle every year. Um, Microsoft has their big developer conference every year. In the last few years, they've brought it home to Seattle. And uh, that's where I go and I see a lot of my, f my internet friends that I don't get to see very often. Um, you know, like, and Andrea's not even an internet friend. Like, she's just, she's just a friend. Like, we, we initially connected on Twitter, but she and I were both living here in, in Tampa at the time. And so... Um, you know, I, I go and it's my excuse to do two things to so like, it's, it's like my little vacation to myself, but it is to go see my people and most of all her cause she's, she's, she's my West coast bestie. Um, so, you know, I got to go out there and see her and see all of my Microsoft friends and see all of my, you know, Microsoft conference friends and just, it's, it's just the whole thing. And it's. It's great because, like, at a developer conference, there's like you know, there's hundreds of people that descend on the Washington State Convention Center, and we're all there doing nerd shit, and I love it. Like, it's it's fantastic. I just I just love it so fucking much. Um, and this is the second year in a row I haven't had that. And the reason I say I was reminded about it this week is because they opened up the registration for this year's Microsoft Build Conference, which for the second year in a row was an all digital event. Um, and that was that was kind of tough last year because, you know, things started locking down at the beginning of March. And the conference is at the, in the, you know, any some usually sometime in May. So, you know, shit starts going down, and then in May, it's like, mm, you can't go do your thing. And then, the other thing that I usually do in May is Nomster Jam. Because we always do Nomster Jam on the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, the last weekend in May. And so, we, uh, you know, we don't, we didn't haven't had to do that for, it'll now be two years in a row. Night Troll, thanks for being here, bud. Go get some sleep. Um... There you go, Viv. Send him off with 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 horizontal flipped Captain Hoppers. That's amazing. Um. So yeah, I just I uh I haven't had that, and you know, I, I and I got reminded again of that. Just I think it was yesterday. When when did I get the registration? Was that yesterday or? 
Yeah, yeah, that was yesterday afternoon. And so I'm just like, ugh, you know? I just, I miss being around people. That sucks. It sucks. Now, granted, you know, silver linings, I have just, just from doing this, you know, and, and getting involved with some different communities on Twitch, I have met some wonderful and amazing people. Um, I imagine that, you know, Lollipop and I wouldn't have spent nearly as much time outside of work with each other with, you know, um, as we would have otherwise. Um, I wouldn't have hung out. You would out. still be the random co-worker of his. I would still be the I random co-worker. A lot. Yeah, I'd still just be random co-worker, and, and you would still really have not much of a frame of reference of who I am. And let's um, be real, I don't know if my resume would be half as awesome for this spot, so... Well, I don't know about all that. I, you know, it's just... I know about all of that. Oh, I forgot to tell you, actually. Uh, they don't know it fully, but three of my coworkers also thank you, because I... Um, the three whose job I learned recently, the remittance processing job, um, they asked me for resume help, since I now know what they do, because apparently I'm well-written, question mark... And so I'd taken a lot of what you said and twisted it to their their spot and okay. sent that to them. Okay, Viva, the sunglasses is really good. Well, That's I, adorable. I, I, I just... I don't know. I, But it's like, like, like stuff like that. That's the kind of, like, I'm stressed. I need to do more stuff. So having something like that to distract me. And that's good because that, that was a small thing. We got it knocked out in a night. And it was done. And we, you know, With a lot of agonizing of, I don't know how to word anything. But that's fine. That's that's fine. You know, I, but it just, it's, yeah. That could probably be a good, it wouldn't be a therapy night, but that could be something you do. What's that? Like a, uh... Like a professional night, like a discussion about how we feel about our professional stuff, any questions we have about resumes and stuff. We just want to have a discussion about. We could do that as part of a group therapy night one day, because, I mean, that's still, like, I still find that stuff to be therapeutic. I, I like doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. Ew. Well, Bowser. I love you, He's Andrea. Licking, you. He's licking I miss my your chair. Face so much. Ew. You're a dog, but stop it. My because, chair's not tasty. Because a capitalistic society values a piece of paper you pay an incredible amount of money for, because then they feel like you'll be indebted to them forever. You know, because you owe all that money for your piece of paper. You know, I okay. So it's funny that you you say it like that, because it reminds <laughs> me of something that I saw uh, or that I was thinking about this morning. So this morning I was I was on my way to pick up breakfast. Okay, so I went and got breakfast this morning. And uh, on the way to go pick up breakfast, I pass this um, this this insurance agency that's like right around the corner from the house. And for a while, like a while after that I noticed sometime after 2016 and 2017 started, um, just to give you frame of reference, they ha they changed the letters on their sign, like their 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 signboard out front of the in front of their office. It was and it said, and this is an insurance agency, so take it for what you will. But it said, "God bless the free market, capitalism, and our USA." And I'm like, man, that is some weird dick to suck. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not here to kink shame. And to a point, I, I enjoy capitalism. I like having money to buy nice things. But goddamn, that is a weird fucking dick to suck. Like Late stage capitalism can like blow chunks. Oh Sorry. my god. <laughs> Listen, you want to talk about I like late... Having I like having money to buy stuff, but this late stage capitalism bullshit is not working for me. Cryptocurrency and NFTs, like, which is cryptocurrency but even dumber somehow. It's so stupid, and I hate it. I I hate it. Ugh. We're burning down rainforests just to say, hey, 
This is secure. And I say... See? Hey. Exactly that, Viv. <laughs> What's going or, on? Or briefly producing less oil to drive demand up so that you'll get a greater price for your barrels in the future. Like, you, a across multiple companies agreeing to lower demand. The, these, this stuff I see in, like, the oil dividend letters we get just makes me sick. The, the fact, I mean, yes, we're also destroying the planet with that stuff, but the fact that they're not producing less because it would be better for the planet, they're producing less across, like, grand conglomerates so that they can make more money. Was it yesterday, Lollipop, that we were talking? Yeah, because it was, we were talking about it during our retrospective at work. When uh, one of our co-workers was talking about, uh, he used to work for um, a, a very large soft drink, um, producer and bottler, um, not the red one, the blue one, and just about how cutthroat that whole industry was. Like, what the fuck? Like, some of the shit that, mm -hmm. that people do just in the name of capitalism, just, what the fuck? Yeah, just some of the stuff I see, like, and it's not even, like, necessarily my company or anything, but it's just where the money's coming from, I'm just like... No, thank you. No, no. Uh, man, like, so Basecamp. Basecamp makes this, uh, um, Basecamp makes this software to help teams, like, like, especially software teams organize and, and communicate and, and manage projects and shit like that. And boy, they had, they have been, this whole week has so far in the tech news cycle has just been them doubling down on being the worst managers ever and just like yeah it's computers were a mistake tech startups were a mistake oh uh, yeah see i said base camp and andrea she yeah she knows what the fuck is going on because i'm not sure that it's just computers i think the stock market might have been a mistake humans were a mistake all right, I can get on board with that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, but yeah. <sighs> like, in theory, it's a great idea that people with extra money invest in things that people don't have the money to start, and you get more stuff done and more ideas done, but then it becomes all about profit and shareholders, and shareholders want more profit and dividends and paying the CEOs, and... Mm, mm, I have opinions. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. You. That's okay. That's. Yep. <laughs> yep. Pretty sure you're in the right place to have those opinions. Boy, howdy, are you ever? Yep. And I just. Mm, yep. I just want to be able to retire someday before I die. <laughs> you just want to be able to retire. Someday before I die. No. 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 You're, no. <laughs> Just, just no, you a, need to hold on. You need to hold on to that wish even after death, because you're still going to be working. Yeah, probably. I mean, would I do that? I feel like death is is my final excuse, and I can I can actually like not work then. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> accurate. You're, yeah, you're you're one hundred percent accurate. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Adrian, absolutely. Like, I just... Some of the base concepts were nice, and then people realized there was profit to be made, and, well... Mm. As my old uh, band director used to say, this is why we can't have nice Is that things. a Douglas Adams quote, Viv? Yep, it sure is. a Douglas Adams quote, I love you even more. Yep, it sure is. In the beginning, there was a big bang and the universe was created and it has since then been considered to be a big mistake. That's right. Yep, 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 I was yep, gonna yep. say, I, I'm pretty sure I recognize that and now I love Viv even more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I miss v Douglas Adams. Viv and, I, Viv and I have been bonding at like this like astronomical rate. It's ridiculous. Ooh, completely, completely apropos of nothing. I was, I was looking at stuff today because we were talking about Archer the last couple of days, because Viv hadn't seen Archer until, um, until Vifa started introducing him to it. And is this a TV show or something? It is a TV show. Yep, it's an, it's an animated oh, okay. TV show, but it's, it's, it's incredibly adult. 
Um, gotcha. And it's hilarious. Um, long story short, it's about a spy agency, um, and and all of the like ridiculous bullshit that happens at the spy agency. And the HR person, Pam, has a dolphin puppet that she has that's that that she's featured that, that was featured a few times in the series. Um, and I I went and I dug out and I have my my dolphin puppet. So that's a dolphin puppet. Somewhere, somewhere right now, someone is browsing the just chatting category on Twitch, and they see the dolphin puppet on screen. So, for those of oh, you who like, are nope, watching, nope. hi, dolphin puppet. <laughs> 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 Some donuts that are supposed to be cream filled. <laughs> when you violate your coworkers' trust or the food. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so. So long and thanks for all the fish. Oh my god, it does bring it full circle. I didn't even think of that, but yes, yes. <laughs> oh, just so long just... and thanks for all the hashtag fish hashtag content. content. Just doom. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's the circle of memes. <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's about right. Um Yeah. I'm just I'm just I I uh, I am stress destroyer of of brain cells this week. Like I'm just. So this is... should have to come to this. Viv, no, you got that stuck in my head. Damn it. <laughs> Viv has successfully earwormed you. It's Even great. Even if the book is better than the movie, that song was worse. The book is always better than the movie. Not always. When when was when was the when was the book or the movie better than the book? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> Which version of the movie? Yes. Oh. And I like the newer one better, but they're both still better than the book. Wait, you like the newer one? The one with, um, um, oh my god. Emma Watson. Yes. You like that one yes. better than the, the, the animated? Yes. Wow. Any Disney movie? Well, okay. In fairness, Viv. Pretty much any Disney movie is better than the book because also old scary fairy tales are scary as fuck. The... They were they were they were the brothers Grimm, not the brothers Nice. Right, and that's fair, but that means me as a non horror person and not liking to hear about people's like skin or nails or feet getting chopped off. I I prefer the the Disneyfied versions. That's fair. That's fair. We were talking about horror earlier today and how I'm not really into horror, but I might get Resident Evil Eight to try it out and see how it is. <laughs> Ooh, you need to live stream that so we can all hear your screams. <laughs> Elena, friendo, I don't think they're going to be the screams that you think they're going to be at the things that you think I'm going to be screaming at. I, I, I exactly what I huh? I know exactly what I said. Uh. You no. think me less aware than I am. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. I I was going to say, do not underestimate me. I was about to say, I have done many things, but underestimating you is not one of those things, and you know it. <laughs> this is fair. No. I just said screams. I didn't specify what kind of screams. I mean, Viva, if we did a heart monitor stream, again, my heart rate would not change at the places where you necessarily think it would change. Or maybe it would. <laughs> Elena, Elena, she knows. <laughs> she understands. I'm married to him. That's a good point. That's a very good point. <sighs> Nine foot six. Nine foot Nine six. Nine foot six. That's just excessive, and I'm here for it. You are here for it. I really, really am. I just, yep. I 
I just I I don't even know. Also, the Lord of the Rings because I could actually watch those movies and I didn't have to read through like ramble babble to do it. Okay. Let me tell you, Tolkien was good when he was good, but he was babbly as hell when he was babbly. Okay, that's 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 a fair point. Um and I know so it's it's so funny because like like the you talk about the Lord of the Rings and we have the you know like we have we have each of the films that correlates to each of the books, but then they still broke like the modern Hobbit. They still broke up into three movies, you know. I could actually read the Hobbit. Yeah. So I yeah. didn't see the Hobbit movie. I actually liked the Hobbit book. I tried to read the Lord of the Rings. I think I finally finished it, but as someone who likes reading, that was way too difficult, um, <laughs> to get through. So I will. I prefer the Lord of the Rings movies. I'm not including The Hobbit because I have not seen The Hobbit to compare. I haven't seen the modern Hobbit either. Like when I was a kid, once I watched the animated Hobbit, the one from like the 70s or or 80s or whatever. Was it the 80s? Bucky I think Bucky read it, was. it. Huh? Bucky read it. Bucky. Oh, Bucky. Oh, Bucky did read it. Oh, where's where's Sabrina? <laughs> If, if we say one of the big three, if we, what <laughs> are the big three? What was it? What was it? Um, aliens, aliens, androids, androids are and wizards. wizards. Aliens, androids, and there's wizards. No such, there's no such thing as wizards. Uh, 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 wizards, uh, sorcerers are just wizards without a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's always one of the big three: aliens, androids, or wizards. All right, we can't we can't say much more than that because we we can't we can't spoil. Um, that, I'm I'm totally on board with spoiling that like entire conversation just because it's in like every promotional material ever. That's true. It is. You're right. You're right. What are you talking about? The Falcon, the Falcon and the Falcon Winter, and Winter Soldier. Yeah, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, there's a thing where 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 um, Falcon and Winter Soldier they're having a conversation. So Sam and Bucky they're having a conversation. And like they're talking about, it's it's always one of the big three: aliens, androids, and wizards. Fair enough for this. <laughs> and, and was it wasn't it Bucky who's like, "There's no," he's like, "That's not a thing," or was yeah. it? Yeah. And Sam's like, Sam's like, that, "That's totally a thing." <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely. A that's thing. absolutely a thing. <laughs> God, I fucking loved that series. That was so good, so so good. I I really enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier. Sabrina also enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier, but for for different additional reasons than I did. I, I'm reasons pretty sure to your Resident Evil reasons, something like that. <laughs> Only instead of nine foot six uh, vampire lady, it's a uh, hundred year old man with a metal arm. Yes, yes, it is. It is a thousand percent a hundred year old man with a metal arm. Yes. Absolutely that. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> that may or may not have a few mental issues to work out. <laughs> eh, listen, he's 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 doing his best, as we all are. Bucky Bucky is the he's he is the poster child for for helping to get your shit in order. He just had a lot deeper seated and more like just out there shit than most of us have right i mean it's not every day you encounter someone who you just say a few set of words and they turn into a murdering rampaging killer or anything like that that's true that's true he was that's right he he oh, see vifa vifa you get it vifa understands and that's why you and sabrina would get along really well but he was brainwashed. He gets a pass. He was brainwashed by a a, a, a para government organization. So what? You, and just like that, we're supposed to be cool. Just like that, we're supposed to be cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah. She can. Yeah. Yep. I should just ping. I should just ping her and be like, we're talking about Bucky and see how quickly she shows up on, on the fucking chat. <laughs> she would. Heard you talking shit. Heard she was talking shit. 
I did that. I did that earlier to Ken. I was like, because I don't remember. He was talking about me for some reason. I think it's because I popped into his voice last night. Like I literally jumped into the voice into his voice while he was on stream, made villager noises, and then popped out. I was like, huh, huh, and then I left. <laughs> And he was talking that's about like it today. Like yeah, that's 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 what I did. I got him real good today. Um, I I was we, there was this whole conversation about shit, and he was being pedantic about something, and I called him a fucking nerd. And then I'm like, well, I got to go do some work because I actually had to get work done. And I'm like, so I'll see y'all later. And then I'm as I left his voice chat, I played like a Mario pipe sound, and he was just like done. He 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 had no response. It was great. That's right. Viv, Viv, Viv is a Viv is a is a cat duck. Quack, quack. It's like in uh, quack. it's like in Fortnite. There's we could land at Dirty Docks, or as I like to call it, Dirty Ducks. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. No, I'm Dirty Dan. Which <laughs> reminds me, do you need me for Friday? Do you want to be in on Friday? I don't mind. I just didn't know if you already had four. Nope, I sure don't. You want to play? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm a cat duck amalgamation. You're. You're. I'm a monster. <laughs> so you've got a cat duck. You've got what? Seventy five frogs in a French. Fr in a French coat. In a French coat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Seventy five frogs in a French coat. You got a potato. I got a potato. Um. I got. What the hell am I when I am not a sentient ball of anxiety? You're just a seagull. A, you're well. Sometimes you're a seagull. Sometimes you're a cat. It depends on your. Depends on the day. Cat goal. Kitty duck. And I'm just Kitty here duck. so I don't get fined. And, and lollipop is just so here Viv so Viv is a cat fine. duck amalgamation, and I'm a cat goal amalgamation. I really feel like Viv and I are more similar than I realize. <laughs> Yes, Vivian, Viv Vivian's, Vivian's, Vivian's dra awesome. full, Vivian's full That's drag name is Vivian Kitty S'mores. Yeah, it's Vivian that K is S'mores. A tasty persona. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah, it is. Nom. Om nom nom nom. Om nom nom. <laughs> Om nom nom. Om nom 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 nom. And plus, he's got the hair, and I I love the hair. Oh. What? hair oh somebody's gonna cut his hair soon what 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 someone why would someone cut his hair Lollipop. oh oh a traitor to the long hairs oh and i've been so used to it over this past year i'm gonna be so miserable do you are you gonna miss his long hair oh i'm gonna pout for like three she, days straight I it's normally still pout here for like and she already misses day. it <clears throat> it's and because she's already I've had it for like a year and a half straight and he's at least not doing it on my birthday weekend I guess that's a consolation Lollipop why won't you keep the long hair she likes the long hair cause it's itchy it's it not is... no why, where is it itchy yes on my neck and my back and okay. it's hot and mm. okay alright so all right, let's talk about this because you're new to long hair. So, um, so you're new to long hair. Let's 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 chat. Lollipop, how often do you wash your hair? Every day. Wrong. Uh, how often do you condition your hair? I don't. Wrong. Okay. So those those because it's short. It's when it's short. I don't. No. No, I don't care how I don't care the length, but the longer it gets, the more important it is to maintain a good routine with your hair. You should not be washing your hair every single day. Every other day will do because if you wash your hair every single day, you're going to strip out the natural oils that your hair needs. Yes, we are Viv. We are very much talking about long hair. Viv and his his that's right. Do not wash it every day because it will dry the fuck out, and that's what—that's part of what makes it itchy, is the fact that it dries out and it doesn't—it's not as soft as it should be. So don't wash yeah. it every single day. Wash it every other day. Viva's right. Two to three times a week at most. Okay. 
See, I've wanted to get to that point, but getting through the greasy, like, two to three weeks adjustment period just doesn't happen. So I also have a terrible routine of every day. Well, don't. Okay. But I do. NS, what's up, bud? Um, yes, only shampoo the scalp. Okay. Yep. Um, now, there's going to get, you're going to get shampoo on back there. It's fine. It happens. But don't like go nut shampooing the ends. You condition the ends. Now you want to also condition the scalp too, because what will happen is your the skin will dry out. Now this is especially important with facial hair. Okay. Um, now beard oils are great and everything. Um, I don't use beard oils. I just don't. Um, my hair is pretty soft, and I follow the same routine for this hair as I do for this hair. Because it's all hair on my head, okay? So, again, wash it every couple of days. Condition it. I usually condition it once or twice. Well, no, about once a week. Um, yes, yes, that's that's also important. Don't leave the conditioner on your scalp. Only leave it on the ends, okay? Um, listen, Viv, that's that's why I have this for you. I, I have this beard in honor of you, although I do need to trim it. It's It's... It's about time for a trim. Um, is it getting sentient? It it exists as sentient. It's getting unruly. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's getting sassy. Oh my god, so sassy. Um, so, NS, what the hell happened to you this morning? All right, you tell me what happened to you this morning. Because what the fuck are you doing, kid? Um, and we'll continue the hair discussion. So you have to treat this hair just like you treat this hair. And again, the hair on your face, the hair on your face is, is going to be a little more sensitive than the hair on, or, or I'm sorry, the skin on your face is going to be more sensitive than the skin on your scalp because your scalp is designed to hold hair. Everybody's scalp is designed to have hair. Okay. Um, the skin on your face, because, because your beard grows out and not like up like the hair on your head those oils they don't like the oils on your scalp some of them still sit on your scalp the oils on your face will pull into your beard okay that's why beards get grody is because well that and food but like all of those oils and sweat and everything else just come right into the beard first it just wicks the fuck away worse than it does on top of your head so the other thing that you have to make sure is you have to be extra special conditioning with the beard because the beard directly affects the skin on your face, okay? The skin on your face can dry out. It can get irritated and itchy and all of that shit. You have to condition. Um, if you need to, lotion the beard. Lotion the beard at the root so that'll get into the um, the, the the skin there and on the, the, the roots and it'll that'll help moisturize it too. I only say this because I have experience with great hair comes great responsibility. We've talked about this before, but my maternal grandfather, he died with a full head of this color hair. So odds are I will too. And I got to take care of it because like, I don't have a lot of physical features that are my favorite, but goddamn, I love this fucking hair. Okay. So let's see. You pulled out your driveway with Clifford, went about a mile, the next two miles downhill. Holy shit. Holy shit, bud. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Oh my god, is 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 it in the shop now? Like you got the you got the you got the truck in the shop now? Is it is it is it going to be is it getting fixed or did you get it fixed? Holy fuck. I've had brakes go out on me before, but downhill that will oof. I spun out in the rain once, so I used to work for a construction company in there. I, I was their IT department. I was the whole IT department, um, save for a contractor. So whenever we would have job sites that would spin up, construction sites, or if they needed something done, if something was broken, I would be the one to go fix the shit. And so I was coming back from a job site in Jacksonville um, fucking a few years ago. And coming from Jacksonville to Tampa... Typically, the route that you would take is you would go south on I-95, and then you would come across I-4 back to Tampa. So I'm on I-4. I get through Orlando, and there's a spot like coming into 
Hillsborough County, which is the county where Tampa is, Tampa proper. Um, so on, in Florida, the way rain works is rain is hyper local and I'm not kidding. It could rain in my backyard and be bone dry in my driveway and my house isn't that wide. Okay. So weather is extremely hyper local here in Florida. So I'm on bone dry interstate going 70 plus miles an hour and there is a wall of rain that is pouring in front of me. And so there is standing water on the roadway. So I hit it and I spin because I, it's coming around a curve. So I'm on the curve. And I, as soon as I hit that standing water, I'm done for because the tires on that car were shit. And I'd been telling the people that managed that company car at the time that they were. Nobody did anything. So I'm like, fucking great. Thankfully, I had the presence of mind to turn my wheel in the opposite direction so I didn't spin all over into oncoming traffic, but instead I went into the shoulder. But let me tell you, it scares the shit out of me. Um, oh man, that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, I'm. Listen. The bicycle, I know the bicycle can be rough, especially, you know, trying to get the distance that you get in, but I'm glad you're safe, bud. Be safe. Get that thing fixed. Um, Jesus, God. Yeah, that's... Vehicle issues are no... They're no fucking joke. They're scary as shit. Oh... Yeah, and, like, ever since then, I've been... I've been like wary about driving in in the rain. Um, I was coming back from Orlando one night a couple of years ago. There was a Microsoft conference. It wasn't the developer conference. It was the um, the IT conference, Microsoft Ignite, and they've held that in Orlando for a couple of years now. Um, just because the Orlando Convention Center, the Orange County Convention Center, is just big enough to to amass the group of people that were there. Um, and uh, they, I went to go hang out with some friends, go have dinner with them, and I was on my way home um, from Orlando to Tampa, and it was dark. It was pitch black almost outside, and like pouring rain, and like I couldn't see more than maybe 40, 50 feet in front of me, even with vehicles that had their lights on. So I had to slow way the fuck down, and that scared the shit out of me. Like, I was on the phone with Sabrina the whole time just because I wanted to have someone on the phone with me just in case something happened. But, yeah, it was woof. I... Mm, oh, mm. Jesus, Vifa. I've hydroplaned yeah. before. That was fun. That's, that's, my, that's my big fear with, with getting a bike, because I'm... I haven't been on a two wheeler in fucking like twelve years or some shit like that. Eleven or twelve, eleven, twelve years. Um, but that's that's a huge fear for me. Is that like one of the fucking wheels will blow out, blow out on on a two wheeler, and then I'm just I'm toast. Because at least in a car, like as dangerous as it can be to be enclosed, at least you are enclosed. And so there's some like layer of protection around you. Um, but on a bike, you don't have that. Like you can go flying and you're, you're done. Part of how, uh, Chris convinced me to move to Florida was my, uh, history with cars and ice. So yeah, you know, am... you know that very, very well firsthand. I am extremely wary between my uh, tussle with the uh, semi, and I've spun out a couple times and had other accidents. I'm I'm done driving in snow and ice. I just I'm not good enough at it, and I'm not going to get better because I'm terrified. Yeah, I don't blame you. At this it. point, I literally like the last one. I I literally thought i was gonna die so i'm i'm done yeah. <laughs> that's it yeah i like we we had one more winter from that and i just didn't like if it was snowing like luckily my by then my uh best friend was working at the same place so she'd just come pick me up because i'm like i'm not i'm not driving to work it's not happening yeah and vifa i'm I'm, I'm 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 the same way too like i'm 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 gonna have everything on like 
helmet, pads, like hard, pa- the hardest of hard pants, all of it. But yeah, yeah, I just, it scares me to death because I'm big and mm, I know how physics works. So it's, you're a much smaller animal than I am. So for me, I, I just, I am always afraid of the momentum that I would get. That's part of the reason why I'm so afraid of being in high places is the fall. Oh, no, sure. You absolutely would. I just, I just, oh, I have a lot of mass and a lot of surface area. See, for me, it's not always about what, what I'll do. It's what that semi can do to me and my car and anything. Yeah. It's why I like having a small... As much as the semi can still wreck my small car, it's why I prefer having a small car, because maybe there's a chance I'll squeeze through some miracle gap somewhere, plus turn radius and parking and not hitting things. I have I have trauma from learning to drive, because I uh, had to learn to drive basically with my mother teaching me, and that went about as well as you can expect with, you, with your knowledge of my... Uh, mother's and I's relationship, which involved at one point me pulling off the highway into a parking lot because I didn't want to drive anymore. Her yelling at me so much that I'd forgotten I hadn't put myself in park and hitting the pole in front of our parking spot because I had tried to I tried to get out of the car to switch places with her, Mm -mm. forgetting that I hadn't parked the car. Jesus. Yeah, I don't I don't like driving. (laughs) I yep. And I love driving. I do. Um Vifa, don't do that. Just don't. Don't. Don't take that kind of flying lesson. Just no, no. See, no. I drive a tiny little Toyota Yaris NS. I have all the turning radius I could ever want. I I traded my 2007 blue Toyota Yaris in for a 2017 blue Toyota Yaris. I don't like change. I will say it was very, it was very funny the day that I came to drop off all of our shit from work. Um... Because, like, so, I guess it's been several months now, but, um, you know, we found out that we were going to be remote forever now um, after a few months into the, the pandemic stuff. And so I'm like, all right, well, I, we got to go get our shit at some point. So I went and I was like, well, I'm, I'm here. I might as well go ahead and get lollipop stuff, too. So I did. And so I brought it over and it's just like I saw the two cars in the driveway. I'm like, well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Yeah, Robert has a, a Toyota Yaris, and I have a Toyota Yaris, partially because we were just trying to find something he could afford. Hey, you know what? It's... And the Hertz cars were, were cheaper. Not the favorite car, but it, it'll give him time to save for another one that I'll actually like. But it's it's a Toyota, it'll and it'll, it'll run for fucking ever, so it'll be fine. It's a well-built vehicle. I was going to say, the only reason the 2007 one got traded in was because I went in and they were like... Your brakes are literally rusted out, and that's going to cost at least 2000 and we're not sure about these other things, and we don't want to touch them because we're afraid they're going to disintegrate if we touch them. And I was like, well, seeing as I only paid $2,000 to the car, I'm not paying $2,000 to the brake time to go get a new car, I guess. Yeah. You know, because it had been leaking brake fluid for, like, mm, six months before that. Yeah. Slowly. So I was like, all right, I guess I... I guess I don't have a choice now. I guess a uh, new car has been mandated. So, in a... But I, I got like 1500 in trade-in because they screwed up the math. <laughs> Bless her little classic cotton socks. Oh my god. So, that... Now, don't get me wrong. That Ram 2500, that is a big... That's a big honking truck. But uh, I actually did see like just for a split second I was at an intersection a couple lifetimes ago and um, like I was stopped at an intersection I was at a red light and the light started to turn there was a car a vehicle that turned a semi that wasn't paying attention and they went by and they clipped and I mean like they they fucking knocked this vehicle this much much smaller vehicle and they were pulling a trailer and everything. And so I was just like, that was that was cringy enough for me, man. That was that was a rough one to watch. Mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I I keep talking to Sabrina. I, I kinda want a uh I kinda want a uh a, a, a bike of some kind. 
Um, and I keep coming back to um, a Honda Goldwing because it's just like, it's a big cruiser and it's built really well, especially for somebody like me. Like it's just a big honking, comfy cruiser bike and um, I would love, love, love to do that. No, no, NS, I'm, I'm not qualified. I am not qualified to do a, a, a vehicle vlog of some kind. I'm, I'm, no. Jesus Christ, Vifa. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, I can absolutely understand that that would turn me off to that as well. Yep. Yep. I mean, I don't like driving in the rain now. I've had I've I had the one incident and I've had a couple of just like shocked me to death for for that stuff and I'm just oof. That's 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 too much. That's way too much for me. I still retain my northerner's attitude towards rain. Like I don't give a shit. He does, <laughs> I don't. I treat it like snow and ice. Yeah. You're just like lolly <laughs> lollipops like this is just melted snow, it's fine. And I'm just like, um, because he was over my apartment when this accident happened. I'm like, do you not remember how shaken up I was? Like, mm -mm. I it took me like, it took me like three or four tries to call into work to tell them I wasn't going to make it that day, even though I was like literally 500 feet away. Um, because I was calling my coworkers instead of my work because my brain was not functioning at this point. And then he was at my apartment and I called my best friend and I was like, so I'm okay, but my car is not. Yeah. My car is very not. Yeah. Or something stupid along those lines. And then I was messaging him because we had been only been dating a few months by then. And this poor soul due to oh his, God. due to his ex wife, we'd been dating like, six months at this point not even five months at this point and due to his oh ex-wife his his baselines were have a job have a car to transport yourself around and basically be able to support yourself for that was those were his like baselines for dating which are reasonable baselines and so he comes up to check on me even though i told him he didn't have to because i was clearly not with it at that point point. and the first words out of my mouth were but i don't have a car now Oh. She just, she just almost died, and <laughs> high entire... up on her priority list is that she no longer met my criteria. This, she is adorable. <laughs> the entire right side of my car is torn up. My windshield is shattered on one side. The car is clearly going nowhere because, again, a sixteen-wheeler versus a little whatever the fuck Pontiac Sunfire I don't even remember what this car was but it was just a little car and what are you kids doing in my house oh. exactly what are, what are we doing in this house <gasps> hidden's here okay hidden also eat some craisins yeah I, I got okay I gotta eat craisins all right so uh hidden what Who redeemed it hidden did Oh, okay. It doesn't say it before redeemed. That's why there's that's the little. It's hidden. That's the little. Well, yeah, that's because it's hidden. That's the little bar on the side. You see. See how there's like a little gray bar, so it's like redeemed. Oh, yeah, because now there's like input. Now there's input. Like, gotcha. Okay. All right. So hidden. What? Uh, what flavor? Exclamation point flavors. All right. What? Listen, don't you at me. Don't you at me. You redeemed it. Uh, I am... Holy shit, I am uh, almost out of everything here. Um, I'm out of the raspberry lemonade. Raspberry lemonade is out of stock. Uh, actually, let me see. That might even be... Let's see. I got strawberry, cherry, and cranberry. Oh, God. Where have all my have I been eating all my craisins? <laughs> oh my god! They're infused no. with the juice of other fruits. I ate them. So I got I got cherry, strawberry, and the Greek yogurt covered. That's all I got. I gotta update the flavors. Just normal. I don't even. 
Oh, fuck. I took the normal ones back downstairs. Fuck. He's having problems. Listen, it's... It's... It's been a month. April has been a today? month. Today? No, you mean just today, right? Well, it's been, it's been a, a while. It's been a while. It's been a month for you today, Elena. <sighs> Eat the, the I don't well I don't have the wrapper. I threw it out. It's it was empty. Why? It has yeah, Vifa, it has been a couple of years. You're not shitting. Um and here I thought 2020 I'm was sorry, be hidden. And we see I'm how sorry. That I'm sorry. Okay, I will. I will eat the Greek yogurt ones. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. I don't know, Ines. Elena's interview was an interview. How was I it? I think it went well. I I I think it went well. It was with two people. It was with the supervisor and the manager, and I think it went well. I think I had decent answers for their questions. I think I had decent questions for them. The real problem comes down to the fact that I don't come from the department they normally hire from. I come from a department that has a stigma and a reputation for people just go to this department and don't ever leave this department and aren't really trying to advance from this department. So there's a lot of, why are you all of a sudden, why are you in the mailroom? And that's a deliberate choice right now, but that is the one thing that works against me. It also means that I have a little less um, connections, but I've been working really hard to overcome that. And actually in this case, uh, he, cause he's seeking leader feedback and he is actually waiting leader feedback pretty um, decently. Uh, I have two managers and my soup that he's talking to about me. That's all positive feedback. And a supervisor in his department is one of my unofficial mentors and has talked to them. So I want to think it went well and I want to think I have a good chance. But he was also very frank that, you know, the talent bubbles up pretty highly in CS for them to see. So that there is there is some visibility there that I don't have. So I don't know. I won't know until early next week. The interview is over. The thank you notes are sent. I think I did okay. I think I had answers. They really liked my questions at the end, but uh, he said I'm frankly up against stiff competition, so. You are, but you're really goddamn good at everything you do. Hmm. Mm. Thank you, Hidden. I love you. Hidden, I'm going to do, you know what? You know what? Since it was such a, a pain in the ass, I'm just gonna refund you the points because I love you and I, I'll I'll get my shit together. I promise. By Friday, I'll I'll have things in a better place. Save them for cranberry sauce. She she'll hate that. Well, no, no, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, save your points, folks, because I'll eat this fucking thing if you get enough points. I don't know why the fuck I agreed to do it, but I fucking do it. You did it to yourself. Mm, I know. I know. No one else set it up on your channel for you. I know. I know. You gotta get lost in the sauce. Viv, you are not. I, I, I know that may have been what you were told, but I don't believe it. Hmm. Hmm. You I challenged... don't believe you're a jerk, Viv. I believe you're taking blame for something you shouldn't. And I say this because we are similar and I do that shit. Elf, you challenged me to not to laugh at a video on... Not to laugh on a video at YouTube. Nah. Sure. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm No, don't... No. No, Krako. I'm not... They I, make, like, crazy boxes on Amazon. It's pretty amazing. It's true. I think... Don't I have the thing on the, the channel for that? Let's see. Where's the... Uh, where's the extensions? I th did, I, did I put the box in there? I don't know that I put the box in there. Let me see. No, because the box isn't always in stock, so it's probably better not to put the box in there. Like, I don't even think the box is in stock right now. 
I don't think it is either. Let's see. What do we have in the bear snacks list? No, I don't see. They don't. I, I don't have that in the list. Um, but, but yeah, if you buy anything from the Amazon widget or, or if you're doing any of your normal Amazon shopping, um, use the, use my Amazon link and I'll get, I'll get a tiny little piece of that. And I love you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Elf, I don't have that set up, but, but yeah. Where is Tom with his hammer? Hmm. He is, it's Wednesday, so Wednesday is wrestling night for Tom, so Tom's not here. You got to use that hammer last stream, though, and he was happy about it. Yeah, he was. He hadn't he hadn't been able to use it here in a long time, and now it's gonna be like it's it's gonna be a battle between like him and you and Viv, which really just and Alley Pup, which really just means between him and Viv. Yep, because like it's gonna be a hammer battle. Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like Lollipop's going to be too laid back to be in that battle very often. Lollipop, I, Lollipop's just my emergency mod. Like, he's just in case I some shit goes down. <laughs> just in case shit goes I down. I'm just here so I don't get fucked. That's, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it. Listen, Lollipop is, he's, he's, he's like my, he's like my mod reserve, so... You know he's. I know what I'm about. He's he's here <laughs> just in case some shit goes down. Um, in fairness, I had to make him emergency mod a, f a couple of weeks ago when we had that like ridiculous <laughs> Fortnite stream, which was amazing. <laughs> you made me emergency mod while I was starting to get my second shot side effects. <laughs> That's true, Viv. Viv, you you are here to keep Tom on his toes. That's. <laughs> oh my god. Viv is having way too much can fun he, with you. Can he know? not hit his fingers with it? I get the idea. It's like dual wielding, but with swords. And shoulders. It is a big it's jump. Dual wielding with a shoulder. Dual wielding with a shoulder. There's a sword just off to the... Which side is that? I guess it's... No, it's this side. Because I'm looking at it. I don't know. I don't which side is it, robe? The robe says it's this side. It's the milkman robe. It knows. It knows all. It sees all. It speaks to me. Uh, Maybe pills for that. Hey, I don't want it to stop speaking to me. I'm just saying that they make pills for that. I'm not saying you have to take them. Hmm. There you go. See, see, Vifa gets it. Vifa understands. I get the idea, though. I get the idea. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. I, I think part of my stress, too, is the fact that, like, Sabrina and I are on different schedules. Sleep schedules, so... We're on different sleep schedules, but we're not. So... Um, she's in bed by no later than like 1030 because she has to be up at 630 to go to, to get ready for work. Um, and I'm in bed with her, but I don't sleep. Like I can't get to sleep before like 1130, 12 o'clock. Just, it's just the way I'm wired, but I get up with her in the morning. So it's, um, I'm, I'm. I think I think that's just I I need I need a good day or two to sleep in and get caught up because we haven't been able to because because we've had so much other shit that we've been doing lately like just house stuff and other stuff and just everything so I haven't had a chance to just have a, a couple of days to sleep the fuck in. That's that's what I think I'm looking forward to the most on Saturday on my birthday is just stuff, sleeping stuff. in if I fuck and being like fuck off because i i'm usually up on the weekends and worried about chores and things but it's going into a work from home week so yeah if i don't do anything it can get caught up on monday yeah yeah and that stuff stuff 
Like there's there's yeah. there's thing stuff and then there's stuff stuff and then there's stuff things. But there's no thing things. Yeah, work. Chris and I are on similar sleep schedules except for when somebody stays up till like 2 or 3 a.m. in the middle of the weekend for no good reason and then throws his sleep schedule off for like several days after that. <clears throat> who, are you, who are you talking about? Huh. huh. <laughs> Lollipop's like, I'm in this post and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, Vifa, you're a fucking liar. I, I know no, this. I try not to be a fuck off person on the weekend. I try to like spend time with the guys and games and stuff. I'm I'm actually I am both a space person, but also like I'm a cat. I want my space when I want my space, but I want my pets when I want my pets, and exactly two and a half of them <laughs> in the exact proper spot, or I'm gonna bite you. Also, you you also are sometimes like the pup that's like no take, only throw. <laughs> When am I like that? I don't know, but sometimes, probably. Eh, that's more like the cat. The cat doesn't. That's fair. The cat knows how to play fetch better than the dog, but she very much doesn't want to give up the mouse for it to be thrown again. That's that's a fair point. I will say. So again, cat. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fair point. Fair point. Um. I will say this. Speaking of cats, um. Y'all have been getting some good shots of of Liara lately. Like I know, like I know you're not supposed to pick favorites, but Elliot is my favorite. But I also still love Liara, and you have been getting some quality pictures of her lately as well. Well, Elliot is my favorite because he doesn't pee on things. So that's true, and he gives you all of he gives you all of his love, especially when you have cheese or breakfast. Uh huh. All of the purpers. Oh, so many purpers. He's such a good boy. Elliot is really a good boy. He's he is a good boy. He's the loudest purr. He loves cheese. He's very sweet. And he also yells when you're not home. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, because you're not home. <laughs> he's. I mean, he's a little talkative, but he's not a screamer or anything. He's not a screamer, but he he will yell and he will yell. He hates doors, and he will just he will just go in and out of doors all day long, yelling at the doors for existing <laughs> and also for you not being there. I think that's really what it is. He's like he hates the doors that are in the way of looking for you, and you're not there. I, I think he is looking for me because he's pretty content when I'm in the dining room. I think he wants someone in his space, but no one's in his space. And that's where, because that's my space. Because when I come home and I, when I like even like think about moving towards the curtain for the dining room, he goes running in there like, Burr! and but then he, he jumps up on his tower and purrs at me. It's because he knows. That's because he loves mom. I, I am similar. It, it can it can be both. Uh, in this, I am similar. I am a hundred percent anxiety, milk, and sweet tea. That's 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 my chemical makeup. I don't know if I'm one hundred percent anxiety. Yeah, you're like. I think a, it's more. W more what? I I, I want to know what your answer was going to be here. I mean, it's like a solid ninety percent plus. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's more like 110% anxiety and 50% chocolate. Well, that's what I was going to fill in the other like 10, 10 or less percent with is chocolate. No, I'm an overachiever here. Well, that's why you're going to get the job, see? Uh, mm, mm. I still think you'll get it. Uh, the... The, the soup or the soup seemed pretty enthusiastic like some of the language she was using um would have given me hope but the 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 manager did not seem as enthusiastic like he wasn't unenthusiastic but he seemed still a little skeptical he really wants the best candidate for the job and i'm not sure he thinks he's going to get that from uh my department okay i mean listen we'll We'll find out soon enough. Do you know how many other people still need to be interviewed, or are the interviews over? Uh, they're not. I don't. I think they'll be done interviewing on Friday. I think they have at least three more people to interview. 
Okay. Plus, right. they're doing leader feedback, so like I know that they were talking to the third person about me today. So like I don't know how many more other people they're talking to about for feedback for other people. Okay. Because right. I know at least two of us were interviewed today, and I believe a third was. Yeah. Well. Um. Because the other the other guy I I know he got through to this round too, so. And we're pretty confident that there are six people. Actually, no, he told me there are six people to be interviewed total so and two or three happened today and he said they'll be done by friday so they hope to have a word by early next week well good they, so they want someone they they want someone they're they're hurting but sure i mean that's why they're hiring i mean we've got i've been involved at in interviews at work because we need people in our dev department um and we've got people that are finally starting um here in about three weeks three two and a half two and a half ish almost three weeks um so we finally have people starting but yeah like we've got one of our especially one of our teams at work um not ours has been really hurting they need they need new people um uh -huh. so I've been heavily involved in the interview process for all of that. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we we yes. we've been we've been we've been pretty hard up, and I'm glad we actually have some people starting. That's going to be really good. Yeah, I'm trying not to get my hopes too high, but yeah, I really want this one. Yeah, Viva, you've been you've been going through some very weirdness at work. You're yeah, it's, that's ugh. it's not great. Um, fingers crossed that things like start to oh, even out at some point. Woof. Yeah, that's that's rough. I'm thankful that being at a credit union, we have actually been like incredibly stable, um, and. Our credit union especially, like even when we had our economic recession several years ago, um, they didn't lay anybody off. Like no one's ever been laid off from the credit union. The credit union's been around since, oh God, fucking how long now? I forget. It's something in the neighborhood of like, yeah, close to 100 years. Founded in 1934. Um... So it's been around a really long time, and they've never laid anyone off. They've had to they've had to do some pay reductions, um, but never any layoffs. So I'm very thankful that I have a place that where I feel really secure. Jesus Christ, fourth round. That's that's fucking harsh. Oh, at least they do rounds. Ours just. They they just have won't ever tell us if they're actually done with the layoffs yet. Oh well, that's what it was like <laughs> at the place where I was before I came to the credit union. Like they they did they did the first ever layoff there after they got acquired by the private equity firm. We all called that the Thanos snap because we all came in one Monday and a bunch of people just disappeared. Um. So the snap happened, and now it's just like they everybody who's still there knows that further snaps will happen at some point. They just don't know when. It's just a matter of when. <sighs> yeah, it's 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 always like that, though. You know, it's it's fine. We're we're doing this right now, and everything will be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Or the we're a family. We're gonna take care of each other. Yeah. Yep. But God bless the free market capitalism in in our case, our USA. No, that's the show up to clean out your desk snap. Yeah. No, no, no. Like the you, like they didn't even do that. They didn't. They literally didn't even do that. So, Monday morning rolls around. They start doing things at like, I want to say like eight thirty or nine a.m. And they start calling people in. 
and sending them out. Calling people in, sending them out. They don't give them a chance to do their desks or nothing. They had a whole team of people packing desks in boxes and sending them to them, shipping them their shit. I'm not even kidding. They at least seem to have the decency to give people like their their box of stuff, even if they don't let people box it up themselves, like give it to them and don't like ship it out. Yeah, I was, I was, that wasn't a very emotional week for me, um, and I didn't try to hide it, so I ended up in conversations with the, um, the director of human resources or director of talent or whatever the hell the title is, and the, um, CEO, so... We talked that week. We all talked that week. That was... Yeah. It was not great. It's fine, though. <sighs> but, in fairness, you did destroy my team. Like, my team of ten went down to a team of five. And you have... Moved, yeah. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not there anymore, and that's what's important. I'm, I'm somewhere much better now, and I'm much happier there. And I also have a lollipop, which is also very good. He is a very good lollipop. He is. He's the best egg. He is. He is. Had a lot of things to do today. You know what I did instead? You got your mouth poked. Uh, <laughs> it was a very. It was a very, very bad mouth poke. poke. It was not a good. That is not a good poke. It was a very long poke. Jesus Christ, Vifa. Yeah, that's... Woof. Like, if they show up, they just know that that's... Oof. God. I could not imagine... Yeah, that's... yeah, I'm. I have concerns between the transition and the fact that if they bring back our team altogether, I can't. We have been unscathed through the entire layoff round, whatever you want to call it, looming layoffs since last year, because we were we were half staff in, half staff out, and you literally cannot cut us any shorter than we are. Yeah. You can't. It, it's not going to work. Um, but I, if they bring everyone back in, we've been immune for too long, I think. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, everyone with the transition and the stuff we've been hearing about, people are starting to polish their resumes. Like, that's what I was telling you earlier, where, you know... Your help on my resume is helping other people. Well, I just... Uh, it sucks. Really sucks. My dentist doesn't actually do that, Ines. My dentist is... Well, my dental hygienist, she's very nice. She's very good about, like... Knowing when I can and can't say things. It's very, very good. And Just she'll, like, bite she'll... them. I'm not going to bite anybody. If they're asking you questions when you can't answer, just bite them. I've gotten in trouble before for biting people. Well? Well? Did you obtain consent first? No. Then there's your problem. Well, in just whatever. I just don't bite people. <laughs> Oh, I've well. learned not to be so chompy. It's fine. Well, there's a major difference between us. You still obtain consent, though, right? I mean, yes. He's married to me. Well, yeah. He consented with the ring, so... I couldn't bite I the dentist. I don't actually condone biting your dentist. Like, I don't actually recommend that. I believe that Ines bites his asshole. dentist. I believe he does. 
Fucking Nick over here just chewing on fucking dentist hands all day long. Fucking god damn it. Frack Nick. Frack Nick. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Viv, that's consent, and consent is hot. And also fucking required. <sighs> it always comes back to to f it always comes back to food or vampire ladies. All other things that release endorphins, like vampire, vampire ladies. Vampire ladies. Listen, we are. Don't you're, you're literally in our ears right now. Don't judge me. All right. I'm not here to yuck your yum. Juice. Juice. Aw. I miss Krakow already. Uh, oh, so <laughs> Tom was in Tom was in Krakow's stream earlier. Um and we were because well, like he's he sent me a message, he's like he's like, I'm over in Krakow's stream right now trying to convince him to buy Game Pass and I'm like, Well, well I'm on my fucking way. So I just showed up and I'm like I'm like I heard there was talk of Game Pass. And so Crack was like, oh, he's like, you've invoked Sunder. Here he comes. You said something about Game Pass, and he's here now. <laughs> oh, which is fair. Which is fair. Go speak about my our Lord and Savior, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Which, by the way, follow the channel. When the bar hits 250, I'm giving away another one. Three months. It's 45 bucks worth. It's all the fucking games you could probably ever play. And then some. Trust me, I've been trying. I've decided my goal on Twitch is to collect all the cute emotes of cute animals sipping on things. That's, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, that's, that's, that's Snuggies. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I subbed to his specifically for that emote. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I kind of feel like at some point I need to get some kind of uh, picture uh, commissioned of an Umbreon wearing a hoodie, drinking coffee, because that needs to be a thing. That's. It has to be a shiny Umbreon, though. Yes. yes. It has to be shiny. Just a, a plain old Umbreon will not do. No, um, no, no, no. I'm I'm still telling you, I still want to find an artist that is capable of drawing a Liara Sony with a shiny Umbreon tattoo. That with the, the shiny parts being her actual skin. Yeah, that would be really cool. So, okay, so there's one there's one in the, the chat that NS posted a minute ago. And that's like, Lollipop, this is why you need to subscribe to Tab's channel. Because then you would get you would get Tab's hug emote, which is Gur hugging the pig. Which, Let's go to my rear pig! <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Ah, oh. there you go. There's, there it is. Oh, well, tonight was kind of a hodgepodge, huh? Hodgepodge, hot mess. It's, it's when I exist in the space, it is always a hot mess. Uh, all well, the cat you know Keyboard cat. I love Donnie. She's such a squish. So, so squish. You love all the cats. I do. I just... I, I, I really do. Uh, I live in a world where cats and bears can exist... Can, can coexist peacefully. Yeah, that, that doesn't work here, NS. You can only hear my voice doing that on other people's channels. Apparently, it's you know that's still that's still weird. It's weird to me. Like it's still weird to hear my voice on someone else's channel when they're broadcasting. Like it's so weird. Viv, do you like to lay in front of keyboards? If you also like to lay in front of keyboards, then yes, you could you could be the cat. You are the cat duck. You are the cat duck amalgamation. So it if you Viv like, is a cat duck. I'm a cat gull. Alone in the world we is a little cat dog. We will both get in the way of your keyboard happily for attention. That's yeah, that's fair. Can confirm would get in the way for attention. Yeah. Oh no, I'm, 
I also live with a cat who likes to get in the way for for attention. No, she just slams through doors. No, she does that too. She does that as well. And brings you cake in a mug or other such things. You know, I gotta I gotta watch his stream more. I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, I like the cut of his jib. I do, I do. I like I like I like my UK streamers. Uh, we, I got a lot of good UK streamers. And UK non streamers. Vifa. Love you. Love your face. Oh well. Anything, uh, anything I want to talk about before we close out? I might close out a few minutes early tonight, because, I don't know, I'm just... You hiding a time-traveling machine anywhere that I can just travel to early next week and get an answer? No, no. If I was hiding a time-travel machine, I would go back in time, probably in, like, six-month intervals, and start about four, five, six, seven, six, six-ish years ago. And then go back about six years, and then keep going back every six months, and then find myself and smacking myself in the head. And then eventually, it'll get worse and worse to where I start punching myself in the mouth. Please don't. Eh. I kind of like the person you are. I know, but the person I was no. is kind of a pain in the ass. Getting punched in the mouth also sounds really uncomfortable right now. Well, yeah, that's but... because you got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hold on. The person Carl. you were was also doing the best they could. So that... slapping them upside the head isn't going to help it. Carl, that kills people, Carl. <laughs> As Zach ignores me because he doesn't want to hear therapy. I'm sorry. What I, I I couldn't hear you over. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over the sound of llamas. I said the person you were was doing the best they could. So slapping them upside the head for that isn't helpful. I know. Look, we have our own. We have our own uh, llamas. Therapy on stream? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? That's that's heresy. I'm really good at it for other people. I'm just basically garbage at it for myself. So. Hey, join the club. <laughs> so, like... Seriously, going back six years and slapping yourself up the side of the head? No, go back and hug yourself. Yeah. You know I'm right. Eh. I know you. There is no way you, Mr. Tryhard, Mr. I'm going to take on more when I'm stressed, weren't doing your best. Your best might have sucked. You might not be happy with your best now. But damn it if you weren't trying. It was, listen, it was really fucking bad, okay? I've got my points. I 100% I understand. <sighs> Let, let's be real. I don't like, like, from 11-year-old me to, like, 24-year-old me. At all. But it's not her fault. <sighs> I'm in this I'm in this stream and I don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's not her fault. And, hell, slapping her upside the head? Went to help anything? Was happening at times? Didn't help anything. Can confirm. Doesn't work. Don't do this to me, Viv. Don't do it, man. It's not your fault. Don't do this. Viv's right. <laughs> and, and really, in the end... Sure, those years might have sucked. Sure, you might not like some things. Sure, there might be things you're not proud of. But where you are now? Pretty good. I agree. I'm in a really good place right now. I am. And you don't know if... Yeah, Viv. Trying to do go some different route to maybe be slightly better those years would have really worked as well as you thought. I know. And I know that... I know that where I am now is is the very like it's the end result of a very precise series of events and actions. I get that. You got to just... be as nice to you and past you as you are to everyone else. <sighs> and as nice as you would want them to be that to their past selves. Huh. 
FIFA, don't do that. Don't do that, FIFA. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna cause confusion. Oh, that's that's another random thing that I was thinking about the other day. I was talking to Sabrina, and I was like, you know, I'm like, I know all these random little facts about people. I know all these random facts about people, and like, I'm like, is it weird that I remember things like, like I know. Like, I know Viva, Viva has a nut allergy, and I know Viv's actual name. And I'm like, is it weird that I remember these things? She's... No, it means you're detail-oriented and you care about things, and you never know when a nugget of information will be useful, so you store it away for later. It is, well, that's true. We did have a conversation the other day about, like, pad thai, and I know that Viva can't eat it because it's a, it's, the sauce for pad thai is, is, is peanut-based. Like, it's a, it's a peanut-based sauce, so she can't, you know... Storing nuts for the winter. Makes sense. You, you, no, Vifa, don't no, don't store the nuts. Don't have the nuts near you. No, <laughs> no, don't don't run the risk of the nuts getting into your other food. Don't do that. That's bad. You can't have you can't have them. I have this. this I have this buddy of mine. <laughs> Vifa, I know. They're just trying to I save know. you from yourselves. Are, aren't we all just trying to save each other from each other? Um, listen, yeah, I would I would love for you to experience Nutella. I would also love for you to experience Life continued living. living. Yes. <laughs> Vifa's like, Vifa's like, ah, and she starts to swell and Viv's just like, boom, just right there. Oh. I really don't like this italic text thing that they, they pushed out today. I hate it. I'm, if, I'm gonna say I, Nutella is not worth dying for. It, it's not. It's good, but it's not worth dying for. I love Nutella. It's good. It's not worth dying for. There are better chocolate out there. It's not just the chocolate. It's the combination of the chocolate and the hazelnut. Sure, there are better chocolate combinations out there that are and it's still not worth dying for. Listen, okay, but like the Ferrero Rocher balls that are basically Those are really really good. Those are better than Nutella. It's the same play. It's the same shit. Texture's different. And I know effort. the texture's I can, different. I can just unwrap the ball and pop it in my mouth. I don't have to like find something Phrasing. or even just a knife to get it in my mouth. I can just pop the ball in my mouth and suck on it. <laughs> We're not doing phrases. I tried. <laughs> I tried. No, 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 Viv. They, they, they know. She knows exactly what she's doing. I, I know one thousand percent what I'm doing. I can pop the ball in my mouth and suck on it. Swirl the tongue around and get all that good flavor. <laughs> Lollipops like <laughs> Lollipops over here like can confirm. <laughs> so <laughs> but Nutella, you have to put in so much more work. And like I just I'm 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 about the less effort. Like the maximum reward for the least amount of effort. <laughs> maximum effort. <laughs> can we get that quoted, please? <laughs> Which part? Yeah. Uh the whole thing i will i will put if, it i will put it into the quote system once i migrate the quotes over to the new bot no you won't you won't remember it yes i will i won't remember it i will it'll be in the vod <laughs> it'll be in the vod don't worry <laughs> don't worry and the vod will get exported to youtube where it will live forever that reminds but, me so i gotta do some is, cleanup there that is why ferrero are much better than nutella they are closer Ferrero to worth dying for, but are still not worth dying for. Unless you're like 101 <laughs> internal, then yes, absolutely get the Nutella. See, that's what you can do, Vifa. It's like when you're at the end of your life, you can have your last meal be like Nutella and all these tasty things. Vifa's like, that's how I want to die. I want to try all of the things. Uh, Elena and her balls. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Why am I getting clipped lately? Because you're doing all of the clip, the clip worthy the stuff. The Ferrero Rocher balls that are basically... Those are really, really good. Those are better than Nutella. It's the same play. It's the same shit. 
texture's different. And I know the texture's I can, different. I can just unwrap the ball and pop it in my mouth. I don't have to, like, find something. Phrasing. Or even just a knife to get it in my mouth. I can just pop the ball in my mouth and suck on it. I love I love that we got double lollipop cackle just like just um, I, I, Viv insert any medication here are fucking expensive for no reason uh, no 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 Viva we want you to be well we don't want you to be but the goal is for you to be at the end of your life for other reasons that are not food and thus then you can have the food without cutting your life shorter Oh god, Ines is oh, already- Oh, EpiPens are not fucking expensive for no reason. EpiPens are fucking expensive because capitalism. Yeah, I mean... yeah. <laughs> yeah, pushed okay. All the right. capitalist button. Let me, let me, re <laughs> alright, let's rephrase. They're fucking expensive for no good reason. Accurate. Listen, Vifa, it's not that we don't want you to have fun and enjoy the nuts, we just don't want them to fucking kill you. We like having you Vifa, around. you just have to find alternate nuts to enjoy. <sighs> well, look, you just have to find some nut-free nuts and then you can go go wild. <laughs> yes, Viv. <laughs> well, <clears throat> yeah. I I still want to know what Viv wants. Well, now that now that we've nutted all over the place, um <laughs> I don't do phrasing, Viv. You get what you get, and you take it, and you like it. He, he does not. She does not do phrasing, Viv. She really doesn't. She doesn't. <sighs> well then, um, yeah, that I got nothing. I got nothing. I yeah. You know what? I'm sorry I derailed your stream. No, you're not. You're My not. Discussion of sweet, sweet chocolate balls. <laughs> you're not. You're not sorry. First of all, <laughs> you never were. <laughs> you get what you get, and you but take it, you and you like it. But you keep inviting me back. It's... I'm still waiting for you to message me and be like, you know, maybe I'm just gonna go a different path with my stream. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Viv, you can. You can always PM me afterwards. You can PM me before, during, after. I don't care. Just whenever. Oh. This Thunder's is, waiting for you anytime, Viv. This is what I mean. Everything everything in this stream ends up back to food or other things that release endorphins. Sometimes. Oh, hi, Allie. Hi, Allie Pop. <laughs> hi, Allie. You you came at just the right time. We were just talking, like, Elena was just talking about putting nuts sweet, in her sweet mouth. Sweet balls. Putting, sweet putting... balls. And now you can just wrap your tongue around them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Viv, Viv, Viv slid into my DMs with an eggplant emoji. I don't know that that's a bad influence. I think that's a good I don't influence. Know yeah. Honestly, our next car, if I could swing it by that point, my Chris's next car might be either electric or hybrid. Yeah, I, I, swing it. I would like to one or the other, but I'm not buying a fucking Tesla. I'll tell you that. Uh, that's a good uh, point. Well, then, that's, then that's a good a point. A coal-powered car. I mean, sure. Oh, so, well... Well, there we go. There you have it, folks. Another one's in the books. No Look, idea. Take it, as, take it as a good thing. When I'm thinking about balls, I'm not thinking about my interview. That's... Okay, fair, 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 fair. Um, let's see. What are we... What do we got going on? Oh, I gotta... Mana streaming, fire streaming, Snuggie streaming. Yeah, we got a lot of people streaming. Uh, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go see. We're gonna go see Mana. We're gonna keep supporting sweet friend Mana because she's wonderful and sweet, and we love her. Um, 
Oh fuck! I've heard that new Maki -E is nice. I've I've got a couple of people that I know that got one and they love it. Oh. All right, so let's go. There's the raid message. You know the drill. Use it if you want to. You ain't gotta. I ain't your pappy. Um, let's see. We're gonna go see. We're gonna go see Mana. Mana is playing the fork knife, and she's co-streaming with Ken. So we all have to go root against Ken. Um, or did did Ken stop? Oh, I guess he's no, he's he stopped. Okay, so well then, fuck him. That's fine. We'll just we'll go see Mana because we love Mana, and she's a sweet angel baby, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> Captain Hopper's raid. There you go. Ooh, ooh, maybe we should do that. Hold on. Let's see. Let's do. Will I don't. Will anyone be able to use? I don't think anyone but Viv will be able to use those. Um, ones. that's okay. I don't care about the altered ones. We can do... There, we can do... Let's do this. What do you think? Ooh, I like that one. You like that? Yes. Alright. Um, fuck it. Let's go do it. Um, so... Let's see... Do, do, do... Do, do, do... Yeah, let's let's go see Mana. Okay, um, so we're gonna we're gonna keep playing Fork Knife on Friday this week. Um, Ali Pup, are you you still down? You still down for for co stream again? Because I've really been enjoying that, and that's been a lot of fun. Um, if you are, well, I'll I'll fucking do that again. And then Elena, you, me, and Tom can do it from our side, and we can have another night like we did. Uh, like yeah, okay, yeah, so. We're gonna do another Friday like we did last week. Doing the fork knives, co-streaming with Alley Pop. So much fun, so much fun. Um, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, fuck it. Um, so see you on Friday for fork night, Friday night happy hour. See you on Sunday again for dungeons and Monday for Minecraft Monday. Um, and we'll play next Wednesday by ear. We'll see how things go. Uh, until then, I love you all, take care of each other, and let's go see Mana and give her all of the love. Okay, bye.